Yo! Your Uncle Jesse here with you yet again on this lovely Tuesday evening uh, or morning, depending on where you are in the in the uh, in, in the world. I don't have a Jordan rookie auto. Uh, actually, I do. It's 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 somewhere back there in the uh, in the old closet, if you will. Uh, I also have a Michael Jordan uh, UNC autograph. You know, back when he was in college. It's about a five six hundred dollar card. Last I checked. Still trying to figure a way out how to give that away, but we do plan on giving it away at some point. Anyways, let's uh, let's get on task here. Twenty nineteen top series two baseball. Three box break, number four, for eBay. Alrighty. Yes, it does, Greg. You know, it, it unlocks the the good old "I don't care anymore" uh, feature. So this is the last of the hobby case. We got a jumbo case, which we'll start breaking tomorrow. Well, the rookie, the rookie Jordan, I'm sure Gelf is going to sell on eBay at some point. Or, or maybe he's waiting for the national, you know, to, to, to sell it to a private seller or something. I don't know. But, uh, you know, but we, you know, we do have the, uh, the Jordan card there. At this point, Chris Fitz, you know, we're considering not getting any more basketball products. You know, because they, they take us too long to fill. If you notice, we didn't get a single case of Noir basketball. And that stuff is absolutely gorgeous. We And we didn't get a single case of it. So, I think for the time being, I, I don't suspect that we'll get basketball products in the future. You know, more than likely going to stick to uh, to baseball and football. All right, you know that seems to be our bread and butter. So we got to stick to what we know and what we're good at. You know, and maybe down the line when we you know when we grow a little bit more, fill breaks a little bit quicker, and uh, get a demand for the basketball, then we'll start getting some more basketball. Exactly, Fitz, exactly. That's pretty much where we're at with it. You know, we, we had we slow we had a, a slow six weeks more or less. Uh you know, we struggled to get leather and lumber out and we struggled to get Spectra out. We're down to our last case of leather and lumber. We're that we're down to the last box of Spectra. We basically broke even on that. You know, we, we took some losses, but whatever. It's, it's better than having the you know the product just sit there for for more time, losing more value. You know, rather just get what we can out of it. You know, so you, you yeah, you would think soccer would be great too, especially now with the Gold Cup and the Copa America. In the Women's World Cup going on, but uh, you know that's another product that, uh, or I should say, another sport that we struggle to fill. But yeah, I know JMS, but you know I, I like to uh, tunnel vision. You know, not really worry about what other people are doing, more so you know worry about what we can do. But uh, as far as I know, we're the only people that were breaking leather and lumber. But anyways, we got the last case of it. We'll fill that tonight and be done with it. But uh, now for some series two. Trevor Story of the Rockies to 2019. I am now familiar with the short prints and their codes. So if I, if I see one, I will know it. I'm pretty good at catching them. Yeah, funny enough, I, I actually want to get into hockey breaks. 
but you know with upper deck I, I believe upper deck has the licensing on that so that that would probably be a tough move too but you know we, we, we got a lot of messages on eBay whenever we do hockey breaks you know ask oh when are you guys gonna do some more hockey breaks d uh, refractor there what's up Smokey dude Smokey help me fill that last box of Spectre bro I know you like basketball help me fill that last box break it's a random divisional if you don't get a hit you could win a Pascal Siakam rookie card or a random of awesomeness where you could win an autograph or a relic or a box of product or you could win sixty dollars in break credit that's three separate hitless giveaways it's only fifty bucks to get into it's pretty much a win-win situation yeah that, that's what I'm th that's what I'm saying with the hockey you know if we had a brick and mortar store we could get upper deck products and man if that were the I, honestly I feel like that's the next step and, you know we'd be we'd be booming Indians refractor there you know then then the, you know, we can sell some uh, some LeBron autos as he is upper deck exclusive Chris Sale Red Sox to 2019 ah oh, Smokey my bad I, I confused you with a dude that liked money I'm sorry Matt Barnes for the Red Sox to 76 yeah you know, I'll never understand why people in this room don't like basketball considering that of the top three sports basketball seems to sell very very well on eBay Donner's Elite comes out next week. I think it's the first product with the rookies in their uniform. The draft for the NBA is this Wednesday. Zion is going to be uh, a Pelican more than likely. Dustin Pedroia, Relic to 150 for the Red Sox. Appreciate that Fitzinator. So now we have like three, three spots left. Chris Fitz, I have this theory that, you know, since me and you are more or less the same age, I have a theory that once people our age and younger figure out, you know, how big a deal this hobby is, It's gonna boom. That's 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 my uh, prediction. And slowly, it's it's starting to happen. I notice more and more young young folks and people my age having interest in breaks and just the hobby in general. So uh, I do I do foresee a renaissance of sorts. Pretty soon, really. Billy! My dude, you ain't never lied. You know, I, I like the Pelicans in that trade. You know, considering they got the first overall pick and the fourth pick via that trade. You know, Anthony Davis is still in his prime. You know, he's, 20, he's 25, 26 years old. You know, how much longer do you have LeBron in the store, you know, in in the fold of things for? I think LeBron's going to play maybe five years, you know, max. Three of those five years at a high level, I think. Chris Owings of the Royals to 2019. But, um, yeah, I do like the Pelicans on that trade. I still really like Lonzo Ball. You know, they're going to pick up Zion with that first pick. They'll probably get a shooting guard with the fourth pick. They got a good coach out there. I think Gentry is their coach. And here's a short print for a Catfish Hunter of the A's. Very nice. 
Exactly, Billy. So, you know, taking that into consideration, Lakers obviously in win now mode. But, you know, give it three or four years. Pelicans are going to make some noise. And it's a, it's a good market out there, too. They like their basketball. They're, I think they're the only show in town. So, should be, uh, should be good for the Pelicans. Is this a short print? It is not. In order for this to be a super short print, it would uh, not have, or it would have to not have the uh, number here on the back. It, as it does have the number, it's just a base card. I did my research, I did my research. Code 031 are short prints. Code 032 are the super short prints. What did you say, Fitz? I did not. What did you say? I got you. You, you. You'd rather collect, but you know. But but still, you know. The fact remains, a good portion of, of people in the hobby are in it to uh, try to get a buck. Pedro Baez of the Dodgers to 2019. Nice reprint there. Coolsies. Now, well, I found a sharp print in that box, the Catfish Hunter for the A's. It's pretty nice, cool looking card. Did not get an autograph. In this box, anyway. Actually, I, I got a homie. I haven't seen him in a while. Kanko Man. You remember him, Fitz. You know, he's uh, one of the few people that actually uh, did like breaking basketball. I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, but uh, he lives in New Orleans, and I know he's a big Pelican fan. So he's probably ecstatic of uh, what the Pelicans will be in a few years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Garland with the number three pick, which means RJ could follow the Pelicans at four. Garland, if not, isn't that that kid from uh, from Vanderbilt, I think? He only played like two games last year. I was watching this like mock draft thing on ESPN a couple days ago before the uh, Anthony Davis trade. And uh, I think that's I think that's the kid that they were talking about, Garland, being a top five pick, even despite the fact that he only played two games last season due to injury. Cam Reddish, that's another good uh, guard no one's talking about. Or that not many people know about, I should say. There's also the center out of uh, out of Central Florida that exposed Zion a little bit in the uh, in the tournament. I'm really curious to see what the uh, the Heat are going to do. We got the 13th pick overall. The last time we had a 13th pick, we drafted Bam Adebayo. And that kid is a beast. I really wish we could get rid of Whiteside so, so that he could get more minutes. Adebayo is just a monster. See what we got here. Ah, the old school tops logo. Josh Reddick of the Astros. That's number to ninety nine. Your boy got that eye.
NBA been rigged. Like, how are you going to do a lottery and, like, not even show the process of how you got the picks? Like, that don't make no sense to me. Herman Marquez of the Rockies to 2019. You know, the moment the Lakers got a four, the you know, a top four pick, like, that's when I knew it was like, okay, this is just bullshit. You know, it's the Lakers. Lakers got to do well, you know, to uh, keep bringing in their monies. I, I feel sorry for Knicks fans. They're, that team is... They got some young talent, man, but... Their owner is just terrible. Bryce Wilson, a uh, Braves rookie autograph right here. Very nice. Pretty sweet. That is the 150. Yeah, Smokey, we, uh, we got this stuff for eBay only. We got one Series 2 case and one Jumbo case. The Jumbo case uh, starts tomorrow. It, we, we divided them into three two-box breaks. Uh, we got Dustin Pedroia, Red Sox Refractor. Oh, Billy, 100%, you know. Magic Johnson, who's probably the greatest Laker of all time, arguably, for him to just quit and, like, not tell Jeannie Buss or even LeBron or let anybody know that he was quitting, just up and did it, that is a huge red flag. You know, honestly, even with Anthony Davis... I don't think the Lakers crack the top four. Top four, you know, they'll, they'll probably be a five. Well, they're probably. Well, let me, let me, let me stop being a hater. They'll probably be a top three team. Uh, but I, you know, I don't see them getting out of the West as they are right now. They have no depth. You know that bench is weak as hell. You know, outside of Kuzma, LeBron, and, and Anthony Davis, who do they have? Rajon Rondo? Yeah, he's an offensive threat. I like Rondo, though, at point guard, as their starting point guard. But uh, but you need buckets. You're going to put the whole load on Anthony Davis and LeBron? Yeah, okay. We got Starling Castro of the Marlins to 2019. Dude, Hart got traded. Josh Hart got traded to the, to the Pelicans. And Julius Randle actually opted out, and he's a free agent. I would love for the Heat to go after Julius Randle. Julius Randle is a beast. Lakers low-key should, uh, should, should try to go after him and put Julius Randle at the 5. What? With Anthony Davis at the 4? Man. Pick and rolls all day. And yeah, that's that's another reason why I would like Randall to go to the Lakers. Because Anthony Davis is kind of injury prone. <sighs> Man, it's been raining for almost two weeks straight every single day. David Peralta, D-backs to 2019. Who's this? That's a short print. Kyle Wright of the Braves. Response to this dude real quick.
I wonder what that. I wonder what has Zion done. Uh, has he signed with anybody? Like, is he gonna be upper deck exclusive? Like Ben Simmons did. That's just an insert, but still pretty cool. It's a cool picture when he won the Derby. Harper. Good old Alan Ginter. What, don't you want a relic of like a Mastodon or something? I think one year they had relics of like the moon or something like that. New York Mets refractor there. For the Rockies here to 76. Vargas for the D-backs to 2019. All right, one box left. Responded to that dude. All right, let's see what's in this last box. One hundred percent true, Jameis. It's it's definitely the easiest sport to go from rags to riches, and the easiest to dominate for an extended period of time. And Golden State just went to five straight NBA Finals. And yep, just like just like you said, one player can literally turn your franchise around. And you can go from winning, you know, 20 to 30 games to being 50, 60 plus with a player like LeBron or KD. Baseball and football definitely more uh, more team sports oriented if that makes any sense. You know, the Raptors just won a championship with one superstar. Yeah, he has like five cities that he wants uh, to go to. I think uh, it's Clippers. You know, he 
He's probably going to sign with the Clippers. If he signs with the Clippers, LeBron can kiss any thoughts of being the king of LA goodbye. I, I'm sorry. Like, I have no hatred towards LeBron. You know, he helped my Miami Heat, Heat win two championships. Cool. You know, I appreciate that. But I think it's a wrap. Alright, well, speaking of wrapping things up, last box break here for this Series 2. Let's see what we got. That's a cool reprint. I think LeBron retires with the Lakers, or he might go to Cleveland, you know, for a game or something and retire with them. But I, I think LeBron's done winning championships. Frank and Barreto, the ace of 2019. Yeah, who knows? LeBron might end up playing like another five, like another eight years. Who knows? Bryce Wilson, Braves, twenty nine. Uh, well, it's not numbered, but it's a refractor. You know, we have we haven't seen a player like LeBron, you know, yet. You know, LeBron's in his mid. You know, I think he's like in his early mid thirties, still putting up ridiculous numbers. But uh, but I I do think the drop off starts or actually it's already started really he suffered the worst injury he's ever had last season there you know no coincidence there he's he's getting older buster posey with the sweet medallion very nice it's not numbered or nothing but it is very nice looking there you go giants a little something something We got all the hits so far, but <clears throat> maybe a short print lurking somewhere here. <clears throat> Leonard should surprise everybody and go to the heat. Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on down to Miami. No luxury tax. You know, one of the best organizations in the league. One of the most underrated coaches in history. Eric Spolstra. We take care of our players. Williams Estadillo, the Twins, the 2019. I think the Heat will be in championship contention. Real soon. Nadeki Matsui with the blue variant. 
Insert for the Yankees. Spectra is full. Hell yeah. Gonna give away that Pascal Siakam uh, rookie auto like I promised. As well as the uh, Random of Awesomeness. And the $60 uh, break credit giveaway. Sandy Alcantara, Marlins Refractor. Fitz, I've been playing the hell out of 2K19, bro. Been playing the hell out of it. I forgot just how addictive 2K is. I was playing Borderlands 2 for a while. Uh, but, you know, that stopped once I, uh, once I bought 2K. Gary Sanchez of the Yankees 2019. Oh, man, it's going to be surreal watching the Heat without Dwayne Wade. Alex Cobb of the Orioles to 67. Dude, I wish D. Wade could have played forever. Honestly, like, he looked like he could play another season or two, really. You know, coming off the bench, you know, minutes restriction, don't play back to backs. But uh, but you know, you could tell that he was just, you, you could tell he was just done. And he, he's living his best life right now. I, I follow him on social media on Instagram, and dude, that dude is traveling the world with his wife and kids, just enjoying life. Keenan Middleton of the Angels to 2019. Brian Shaw, the Rockies, Refractor. Bulls got a nice young squad, too, Billy. Yeah, I really like Wendell Carter Jr., Laurie Markinen. Uh, you got that kid, um, oh, a short print here, Reese McGuire, the Blue Jays. You got that kid, uh, Zach Levine, who could be a superstar if he really dedicated himself to it. Some good, Some good talent out there with the Bulls. I think Chris Dunn is pretty much done. I hate to say, and he 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 he's shown flashes, but just hasn't been consistent. What pick do the Bulls have in the draft? Yeah, one one of the one of the most painful memories is watching D Wade play in a in a Bulls uniform. He looked good in that Bulls uniform. I'm not gonna lie, he looked really good in that Bulls uniform. Uh, but you know, also hated seeing him in a Cavaliers uniform. Dwayne Wade should have never donned any other uniform, aside from a Heat uniform. But you know what? Such is life. Such is life. I think Pat Riley learned a lesson there. Take care of your superstar. And that's going to do it for this break. All right, so here's the recap. We got Reese McGuire, the Blue Jays. That is a short print, code 031. Kyle Wright of the Braves, another short print, code, uh, code 31. Catfish Hunter of the A's. That is the 31 as well. Bulls got the seventh pick. Oh, they're gonna get a really good player. There's 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 a lot of there's there's some good players in this draft. You just gotta do your research. You know, Kawhi Leonard was like he, he wasn't even a lottery pick. Dwayne Wade was a fifth pick. Michael Jordan was the third pick in the draft. You know, and so you know, it's it's uh, it's gonna be fun to see uh, what happens this Thursday. All right, we got Bryce Wilson of the Braves here to 150 autograph, a relic for Dustin Pedroia of the Red Sox to 150, and a medallion relic for Buster Posey of the Giants. Very nice. Exactly, Darko went before Wade. Ridiculous. Even even Carmel. Well, Carmelo was great. But for him to be picked over Dwayne Wade, ridiculous. Same with Chris Bosh. 
great player, but for him to have, you know, I, I guarantee you, if you redid that draft, it would be LeBron one, D Wade two, easy. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna be it for this uh, break. Thank you very much.